The obvious question is around the whole of this country and the whole of the world right now is, is it a bubble? Look at the actual progress we are making in terms of the model capabilities. And the progress is palpably exciting. We are deploying it in our products. Consumers are excited about using it. We are giving it to companies. They are using it to make their companies better. So you see real demand and we are constrained in our ability to serve that demand. So, you know, so, and, and given the potential of this technology, the excitement is very rational. It's also true when we go through these investment cycles, uh, you know, there are moments we overshoot, right, collectively as an industry. There was clearly a lot of uh, excess investment, but none of us would question whether the internet was profound or did it drive a lot of impact. It's fundamentally changed how we work digitally uh, as a society. I expect AI to be the same. So I think it's both rational and there, there are elements of irrationality through a moment like this. No company is going to be immune, including us. Uh, if you overinvest, you know, we'll have to work through that phase. But, you know, we are, um, I think we are better positioned. And part of that was doing all the parts of what it takes to build great uh, AI technology. So we call it a full stack approach. Uh, you can think of it as a soup to nuts approach. Mm all the way from the underlying physical infrastructure to the research that you need to do to drive this technology forward. So we have taken the deep approach. So we are able to invest at scale and make it work across all these products and businesses. And I think, uh, and I think so we are better positioned to take a long-term view and approach this moment.